power and McCarthy is power that comes out on top for Longford good positive start from the home side Dylan Barnett breaking forward now and he whips in a dangerous ball towards McGerson who gets his oh. head on it it's off the crossbar and somehow it stayed out Chambers with the shot and it's gathered by oh Connor God. Kearns but that what? could have been 1-0 to Longford Town Connor McCormick Aaron Robinson down injured here for Longford they'll have to defend with 10 for the moment Boylan nice skill from him he's kept it in play as well cross from Boylan towards the back post where Wawaru looked like he was coming in for a tap in but it's a brilliant interception by Shane Elworthy. He heads it away for a corner. One touch play from the Galway winger. He's giving it away there, Boylan. This is power now. Longford looking to punish that mistake from Boylan. Chambers with the cross. Gritton gambles oh. at the back post. He's got his head on it, but he's headed that straight out of play. But that was good play. That's what you want to see. Right. Gritton receives again. Never afraid to have a run out of defence and it looks like Graydon's drawn another free kick. Referee says no deflection on the shot from Robinson. It'll run out for a corner. Referee Gavin Colfer shaking his head at Ryan Graydon. Comes to blows with Wawaru. Again no free kick for Galway. That will be a free kick but the referee plays the advantage to Longford. Ball out here to Graydon. Graydon he's one on one and Graydon goes down but referee says no penalty. Quite a few decisions there for Gavin Colfer to make in the space of in the opening quarter of this match. Here's Murphy. Chambers just loses his foot and as he goes to press Murphy, ball inside to McCormick. McCormick with the shot on goal! It's dipping and it's a good save from Luke Dennison. That was a very, very good shot. I thought it was going over. The deliveries from wide. Absolutely. We're yeah, looking for Longford to have more shots on goal. So tables are turned this evening. As McDonald goes up for the header, he's beaten though. The ball's come to Wawaru. And that was a 3v2 chance for Galway. wawaru has got to do better there. He's either got to get the shot on target or he's got to try and play. He start, hit the crossbar with that header, of course. Here he is now in a wide position, looking to use his pace and his trickery. He's done well so far. Can he find a teammate? He can. It's Robinson. Robinson takes the shot. It's oh. a good save by Connor Kearns. Great shot with his weaker right foot as well. The wall for Galway. Connor Kearns has a good clear view of this one. Barnett clips against the wall. McGerson tries to take it down the chest. That's a good oh. effort from Michael Barker. Acrobatic effort from the Longford centre half. But again, it's uh, a chance that goes a bit. Chambers to Power. Power's got space to run into here. Uh, Power surely foul on the edge of the penalty area. Barnett! Oh, McGerson, he has to score. I think the referee was playing a good advantage there. All the play has been very good tonight for Galway. And that's some nice play now. They've worked it nicely up the pitch here, Galway. It's Alex Murphy. Inside to McCarthy. Great first touch from McCarthy. Shot on goal, saved by Dennison. Chambers should have got rid of that ball. It'll give Galway another chance to come forward. Here's Power. Again, Robinson putting his body on the line to keep that move alive for Longford. Power now looking to produce something. Here's Graydon into Robinson. Robinson first time shot off the left peg, but he's well blocked down there, and it'll be a corner to Longford Town. There wasn't that many options in the, the centre of the box, so he basically. Longford take the quick corner, it's Power, who receives it from Barnett. Power flows it towards the back, of it McDonald heads it back across. Chris yes! McGerson buries it into the back of the net. 61 and a half minutes on the clock, and Longford Town take the lead. Just hold up O'Brien for now, but he's done really well. O'Brien is fouled, yeah, off the ball, but Longford come forward here with Carl Chambers. He plays it to Ryan Graydon. Graydon cuts inside, floats a shot on goal! Oh. And did Connor Kearns get a touch on it? No. Linesman flanks for a goal kick, but Long Chambers, he cuts inside, and a couple of goal players lose their footing, and Chambers goes down oh, in the penalty area. The referee stands firm though, oh he's God. put his hands behind his back, the referee, he's not interested and he's in fact going over and telling Carl Chambers. Team, he just got his body across and drew the foul from Le Bottle. And we could be in, I feel, for an action-packed final 15 here. As Portilla is put into an awkward situation oh. and he put his goalkeeper in an even worse one. Carl Chambers was closing down on Con A couple of late runners though coming now, Michael Barker who's a real threat in the air. Mick McDonald's up there, he contributed to the first goal of course. It's a ball in towards McDonald at the back post. Portilla saying I didn't get a touch but the referee doesn't agree. He's given a corner to Longford Town. Mick McDonald applauds the effort. Longford Town taking their time now and nice. Barnett towards the back post where Magerson's come in again. It's up in the air and it's headed away by Aidan McCarthy. For Longford. 
Oh, it's Michael Parker! Yeah, again! He scores! And that's Ryan Graydon, I think, that's winning the way. Maybe it's McCurson, I'm not sure. It is McCurson, excuse me. Apologies. It doesn't matter either way. It's Longford Town 2, Galway United 0. It's an absolutely ferocious cross.